All right, let's see. Davis Wentels. Uh, I've been using these on Hobie Cats and things like that for a long time and I always uh, liked them. You hook them to the shroud. Um, let's play with that. This say this is our shroud and the instructions basically say, you know, uh, start at the place bottom loop of the one tail spiral, get the shroud and screw counterclockwise until the bead locks. You know, I always interpreted that to say stick it on the bottom like that and then if you start to push the sh actual wind vane around it, it kind of starts walking up like this and the bead, watch, don't get your finger stuck on that, but finally the bead, bead kind of twists around like that and and, it, and it's on there. Pretty good. So it's and it's kind of measuring the wind right now, so that's good. Now the problem I've got now is I seem to have a boat that has bigger shrouds on it. So let's go try to stick it on those. All right, so here we are up next to these two shrouds. This one kind of goes in an angle. I'm getting that. that practice one we just did was like a quarter quarter inch no, like five millimeters right this one's more like an eight uh, I'm getting you know two th not three eighths but maybe five sixteenths eight millimeters something like that and this bad boy here is a good uh, not quite a half but definitely more than three eighths at a good solid ten millimeters it would, it, this little thing would never go around this guy. So let's let's play with this one right here. Um, make sure I got this thing in the camera, right? Yeah. Okay. So attach it to the bottom. Put your thumb on it and start pushing this thing around. Wrong. The first thing that happens, I mean, is this thing starts bending. So I've already bent the bottom of this thing. It just doesn't want to walk up that. So what I end up doing is holding this because I don't want this to deform anymore. I'm pushing the bead portion up and around. Right? Got this on video? Yeah. All right. Pushing that thing up and around. It ends up sticking out sideways. It is just not wanting to walk around this thing at all. So, and it, and it won't really slide around. You can see it kind of grabbing. It's not like it's, uh, this. the diameter that this is curved around is smaller than this. So it just doesn't want to do what it's supposed to do. So what I end up doing, you know, is, is something that looks like that. It just, uh, yeah. I mean, I understand that this has some flexibility and some bend to it. So you can put this at the angle you like. You know, get that thing going up. And yay, now my dollar store bag and my wind, wind vane there is kind of reporting the same information. That's good. But this thing doesn't want to walk up. Am I doing it wrong? Surely I can't be doing it wrong because it just doesn't have the... Great. So this is what they look like when they're brand new in the package. And after I get done with them, they look like that. Um, as you can see, I've tried that before. This is a one that I bought before that. I <laughs> ended up doing that to it, which it didn't even hug on. It, it basically just, like said, I I need more. I, I don't know what to do. I, I was wondering if I should, uh, I don't know. Heat it up some more. Heat it up. What? I, I don't know. Is, is it? Is it rich? It's too rigid. But then, rigid and flexible. I I, I just don't uh, don't know. I don't have an opinion on. It. I wish it would. I wish there was a different size. What kills me is fits all shroud sizes. Well, the one that comes in this pack will definitely not fit on my two shrouds. And this is a a lousy 39 foot boat.